And certainly the front line of this year's class is standing by with Lauren Minnenock. I'm joined now by former YSU head coach Jim Tressel. Coach, tell me, how are you feeling right now being inducted into the Hall of Fame? Well, it's a fabulous feeling. We had 15 wonderful years here at the Ice Castle, and being here for such a big game, two really good teams playing good football, see so many of our old friends, and our family got to be here, and just it's, it's just an awfully special day. What does it mean to you being back here in Youngstown? Well, you know, my family grew up here, just watched my children go from from uh, little toddlers to high school graduates and you know, a lot of memories thinking about all those teams of kids we had here 15 teams worth a lot of very very good football teams and all the fans and all the trips to various places and in the one uh, AA as we called it back then football championship group and and it's just special special being down here on the field does it bring back some memories for you well it really does because not only did we have a lot of great games here, but this was where we practiced. We just didn't have much facility other than this field. And so we spent so many hours here and a lot of memories flashed through your mind and a lot of big games. And, and uh, you know, you think about all the effort that your players and your coaches and all these wild fans, how much fun they've had here tailgating and all the rest. It's uh, nothing like it. Can you share with us maybe one of your fondest memories or something that sticks out in your mind? Oh gosh, you know, any of the teams would be mad at me if I talked about one of the other teams. Uh, but obviously at the beginning when we came in new, I'd never been a head coach and uh, we didn't get off to a great start. We were one and nine in our first 10 games. And then all of a sudden we had that magical breakthrough moment where we were here playing our rival, the University of Akron, ironic, I'm working there now. Um, and uh, it was one of those last second 40 to 39 win and they were eight and two or something like that and and that that was that tipping point from that point on our program took off and i can't uh, i can't imagine what that first team went through with the transition and lack of success but they hung in there and they built the foundation for the rest of those great teams you accomplished so much while you were here what are you most proud of i'm most proud of when I meet the kids and see them again, see what they're doing out there as fathers and, and businessmen and public servants and doctors and all the things that they're doing, because that's what we were here for, was we had a lot of fun playing football and it was very important to us, but it was more important to help them get ready for life. And I think they're, they're all ready for life. Coach, can you tell us, can we expect to see you coaching football again at the college level or at any level? Well, you know, you never know. I always tease the people. I say I'm a very young man. But uh, uh, at this moment, I'm having a lot of fun working with students, which you know, that's what we did when we coached for 38 years. And so, you know, I don't foresee it anytime soon. But, you know, you never say never. Okay, well, Coach, congratulations, and thank you so much for your time. Thanks, Lauren. Back to you guys. Thank you very much. The best in the business. Former head coach Jim Tressel will take our final timeout. Get you set for the second half. Chad Krispinski, Dave Sess, and finally get to stay tuned for more. North Dakota State with a 14-10 lead over YSU. You're watching Missouri Valley Conference football.